This is Dave Julian, and I want to show you a way that you can fix things that are distorted in perspective or otherwise in Photoshop using the Adaptive Wide Angle Filter. It's a really great tool. It's in Photoshop Creative Cloud, and it's in Photoshop CS6. Very well developed tool, but let's see how it works. The first thing I recommend is always to duplicate your bottom layer. And you can drag it into the new layer icon, or if you want to be a speed user, use Command or Control J, and that'll make a duplicate layer. And you can turn off the one below it. And then you launch the adaptive wide angle filter. And it brings up an interface that can either fill your screen or you can tune it to whatever uh, size you want. And it defaults to the auto mode which is fine, but I want to use the perspective mode because it's got more detailed uh, tools that I can use. Now the first thing you use in this tool in order to find an area of this building that I want to create a more vertical position of is this great tool here, the constraint tool. And I'm going to enlarge my image just a little bit so we can have a little bit more detail to work with as we, uh, as we see this. Notice that there's also a detail window here and uh, what happens is when you launch this filter it looks at the metadata embedded in your image and it knows what camera model and what lens model in most cases that it was um, shot with that enables this filter to calculate specific distortions that are inherent in that product and apply them to the algorithms used in this filter now you can turn on show mesh and it already shows you that there is certain distortions inherent in this image that this filter has already taken into account. So I'm just going to go back in and zoom. And I am going to turn off the mesh. So the way this works best is, and there are actually two ways of using this. One is you can follow an existing line and then make it vertical. Or, and I'll show you that one first actually. So I'm following a line that's tangent with the edge of the top of that building and verticals are shown in blue as you draw them. And then if I wanted to, I could simply hold down my control or right click anywhere on this line and choose vertical. And it brings that portion of the image into a perfect vertical. The obvious situation that's happening here is that other parts of the image are going whack, but that can be fixed later. I want to go back to this for a second. The other way, I'm going to just delete this one here with a delete key. The other way you can use this tool is to just hold down your shift key, which is the way I like to use it, and it knows that by the direction of the line you're drawing that you want to be vertical with that one. So I'm going to create another vertical here, holding down the shift key, I'm going to follow the tangent edge of that building there. And then I'm going to zoom out. So you can see that in order to make that part vertical, other parts have had to become off scale or off horizontal. So I can correct that by holding down my shift key, drawing a horizontal line right around where the horizon would be here and it corrects that. Now you'll also notice of course that we have scale up here and if you bring scale down so you can see the warped edges this is something we can also fix. So we can hold down the shift key and follow along near the top of the edge of that sky that's been distorted and you can see that the line is curved to match the edge of that sky. When I let go it's going to attempt to straighten that I do the same thing along this edge here, holding down the shift key, following down vertically with my mouse. It knows to draw a vertical line. Same thing here, and so forth. Whoops, there we go. And finally down here. It even follows the warped corner there. So the result here, and I can turn these on and off so we can talk about this, is a pretty well corrected rectangle with the building still looking like an old decrepit barn 
but now there's some verticality to it so it doesn't look like I'm just simply showing you the distortion of the wide angle lens and that's what I'm trying to do here so I can improve the scale a little bit go back to a cropped image there now it looks completely clean and all I have to do is say OK and Photoshop puts those corrections into the image I'm going to show you the before and after here's the before the original background layer and here's the after and if I wanted even more straight lines, I could do that. So I can keep going back into the filter. Like now, you know, I decided I want this telephone pole to be straight because there still looks like a lot of wide angle distortion here. And I might even want to tilt the horizon line a little bit to the left. So I'm going to go back into the adaptive wide angle. And this is good because it shows that you can keep refining your image, especially if down the road you decide to do some different refinements. I'm going to hold down my shift key with this tool enabled and I'm going to draw my vertical line and that creates that verticality there and I'm going to make one on the telephone pole creates verticality there and just to be sure I'll do this pole as well you see how each time I do one of these manipulations it rebalances the image. Now that's looking pretty good up and down to me. The road tilt is about right. Um, I think I want to bring this just a little more to the horizontal here. There we go. Feels a little bit better to me. I'm going to turn off the constraints so we can see that. That looks well balanced and even now. And now I say OK. And there's the original, there's the corrected, and I think we're done. Thanks for watching.